Weekly artificial intelligence and robots news. Get ready to be amazed by this week's most impressive inventions and discoveries in AI and robotics. Some of them are going to predict a heart attack. Some may work based on the user's psychological signals. These are the significant landmarks in the ascent of science. Already curious to know more? Well, stick around till the end. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and also press the bell icon to never miss an update about artificial intelligence, robotics, and future technology. That being said, let's begin. This week's highlight starts with seamless augmented reality, which is a step closer with a new contact lens. Smart contact lenses, according to a firm, promise a more seamless experience. Despite the recent excitement around the metaverse, the concept that we will soon be wearing virtual reality headsets to spend major portions of our lives in virtual worlds still sounds unrealistic given the present level of technology. However, augmented reality AR, which overlays digital features on a user's perspective of the actual world, may have more immediate and practical applications. Companies like Toyota and Boeing are already using AR headsets like Microsoft's HoloLens 2 and Google's Glass to help repair vehicles and manufacture planes faster. Magic Leap has shifted its focus from creating a consumer-focused headgear to medical and defense applications. However, although they are already proving effective, AR headsets are plagued by some issues. They're big and pricey and have a narrow range of vision, and perhaps most significantly, no one wants to be seen wearing them in public. Mojo Vision, a Silicon Valley firm, believes that a smart contact lens that rests inconspicuously on the eye and transmits images straight into Vera's retinas can fix these concerns. The company's most recent prototype now contains all of the components needed to make its vision a reality. A small micro-LED display with a pixel density of 14,000 per square inch sits in the middle of the lens. Indoors and out, this may be used to project text, images, and even high-resolution video. Users may get timely information swiftly and discreetly without having to glance down, according to the business. A custom-designed chip with a ratio that transmits material to the display and a multitude of sensors, including an accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer for tracking the user's eye movements, are all located around the rim of the lens. This eye tracking feature not only guarantees that AR images remain stable while the user moves their head around, but it also allows the gadget to be controlled only by eye motions. Because the FDA has not yet approved it for human use, early demonstrations entail peering through a lens attached to a stick held just in front of the eye. Employees will begin testing the gadget in-house very soon, according to the business, with CEO Drew Perkins volunteering to be the first guinea pig. Next, well, sniper rifle carrying robo-dogs. This week, science fiction became scientific fact when a robotics startup demonstrated its sniper rifle-equipped robo-dog at the Association of the United States Army's annual meeting in Washington, D.C. Although the quadruped robot appears to be a nice guy, it is equipped with a built-in sniper weapon capable of engaging targets from a distance of three quarters of a mile. This robotic weapon system might be controlled remotely by the service. Importantly, it would only engage targets with a human's authorization. Ghost Robotics, a Philadelphia-based business specializing in legged robotics, created Vision 60, a robo-dog. We previously saw Vision 60 robots in action in the United States military during a 2020 U.S. Air Force drill at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. The equipment aided in the creation of a protective perimeter there. Air bases, which frequently require thousands of feet of runway, may be difficult to police successfully, and robot dogs make it simpler to rely on fewer humans. The special purpose unmanned rifle is fitted to this updated, armed variant of the Vision 60, Spur. It's a 10-shot Creedmoor rifle chambered in 6.5mm Creedmoor, a new medium caliber, high-velocity long-range precision cartridge, in shooting circles. The Creedmoor is recognized for having a reasonably flat ballistic trajectory, making it a better hit-what-you-see round at greater ranges than previous cartridges like the .308 Winchester. Spur is controlled by the robot's human controller, with the use of a 30x electro-optical thermal sight for target acquisition and targeting. Earlier this month, 60 quadruped robots participated in a training exercise at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. The robots can climb stairs, negotiate difficult terrain, and self-right if they fall. A human operator would pick a target and then fire in remote-controlled mode. Automatic target engagement is prohibited by current US military policy on autonomous systems. Next, Meta is developing a massive AI supercomputer for the Metaverse. Despite being just half completed, the AI research supercluster, RSC, is already one of the world's most powerful machines. 
The business, once known as Facebook, claims that when it's ready, it will be the world's fastest AI supercomputer. Meta thinks that by training algorithms that better surface bad material, RSC can improve their goods. In the future, the business claims that breakthroughs will allow for real-time language translation between tens of thousands of individuals online, as well as multitasking algorithms that can learn from and generalize across a variety of inputs, such as text, photos, and video. RSC, the Meta AI supercomputer, will handle data at a rate of 16 terabytes per second and run at a peak speed of 5 exaflops. It can now handle computer vision processes 20 times quicker than existing computers, as well as huge language models, such as GPT-3, three times faster. In terms of sheer processing power, it looks to be on par with the Perlmutter supercomputer, which is the world's sixth fastest. Later this year, the machine will be expanded to add 16,000 GPUs and an exabyte of storage to support Meta's massive training datasets and boost training performance. RSC would be the world's quickest if built now. Japan is home to Fugaku, the world's fastest all-around supercomputer. The peak speed of Fugaku is 442 petaflops, or 442,000 trillion operations per second. Governments and colleges run the majority of the computers on the top 500 list. Later this year, RSC is predicted to be quicker than Fugaku. Peak performance on a benchmark does not equate to real-world workload performance. MLPerf, a new AI benchmark, is getting closer to gauging performance in real-world applications. Retro is a 7 billion parameter AI model developed by DeepMind. It can perform as well as or better than algorithms 25 times its size. It's also simpler to track the algorithm's logic, according to DeepMind. Making it more transparent on both sides of the spectrum, research will most certainly continue apace. Next, a badass robot slays 100,000 weeds per hour with lasers. Prepare for the future, there's a new robot in the neighborhood that can murder 100,000 weeds each hour, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, because it employs high-powered lasers to blast bothersome sprouts into oblivion. This autonomous weeder distinguishes itself apart from other robots in its class. The bot doesn't affect the soil below since it utilizes heat energy to eliminate weeds rather than a physical intervention like tilling. This translates to lower agricultural expenditures, the elimination of pesticides, and most importantly, happier, healthier crops. So how does it function? The tractor's chassis or load-bearing component utilizes GPS and computer vision to drive independently within the confines of a field, navigate furrows, and turn around to begin the next row. The tractor's 12 high-resolution cameras continually monitor the ground below as it goes about its plot at around 5 miles per hour. Meanwhile, according to Carbon Robotics, the firm that created the autonomous Vida, an onboard supercomputer utilizes machine learning to identify undesired plants in milliseconds. Once the robot has located the weeds, it uses eight carbon dioxide lasers to destroy them. Carbon dioxide lasers create far infrared light by passing energy through a gas filled tube. Because the tube's ends include reflecting mirrors, the light is extremely strong and can cut through a variety of materials, including wood and steel. The laser array of the autonomous reader can destroy 100,000 weeds every hour, or around 28 weeds per second. As a consequence, Carbon Robotics claims that a single robot can weed 15 to 20 acres in a single day, eliminating the need for several deployments of analog hand weeders. The average farm earns $91,800 in net revenue, according to the US Department of Agriculture. On average, crop inputs such as pesticides, fertilizers, and seeds account for 28% of farmers' overall spending, while labor accounts for 13.8%. Pre-orders for the firm's 2022 range are already available, although all of the 2021 models have already sold out. Next, in a matter of seconds, a new AI transforms photos into full 3D scenes. It used to be that turning an antique photograph into a digital image was impressive. We can now do a lot more, such as bringing historical pictures to life in the style of Harry Potter. NVIDIA, the chip maker, pulled another feat of wizardry this week. NVIDIA researchers demonstrated how a tiny neural network trained on a few dozen photographs can simulate the entire scene in complete 3D, building on prior work. As an example, the team turned photographs of a model holding a Polaroid camera into a 3D scenario as a tribute to Andy Warhol. For a variety of reasons, the work stands out. First and foremost, it is really quick. Previously, training AI models took hours, and rendering 3D scenes took minutes. 
The neural network from NVIDIA takes only a few minutes to train and render the scene in milliseconds. Second, in comparison to today's gigantic language models, AI is rather little. Hundreds of thousands of graphics processing units are used to train large models like GPT-3 GPUs. The picture rendering AI from NVIDIA runs on a single GPU. The research is based on neuronal radiance fields NERFs, a method created a few years ago by researchers at UC Berkeley, UC San Diego and Google Research. In simple terms, a NERF analyzes a little amount of data, say 36 photos of a topic taken from various angles, and predicts the color, intensity and direction of light emitted from each place in the scene. That is, the neural net uses the best estimates based on the training data to fill in the gaps between pictures. As a consequence, the original photos are stitched together to create a continuous 3D world. To speed up NERF algorithms, NVIDIA's new approach uses a technique known as multi-resolution hash grid encoding. The technology might be used in robotics and self-driving automobiles. According to the business, it might also be used to create high-fidelity avatars that users can integrate into virtual worlds or to digitally recreate real-world settings. Next, physiological signals, on the other hand, may hold the key to emotionally intelligent AI. Voice and language recognition technology are continuously evolving, resulting in the development of unique speech dialogue systems like Amazon, Alexa, and Siri. The integration of emotional intelligence into conversational artificial intelligence AI systems is an important milestone in the development of these systems. In addition to comprehending words, a system that can identify the user's emotional states would provide a more compassionate reaction, resulting in a more immersive experience for the user. The gold standard for an AI conversation system with sentiment detection is a multimodal sentiment analysis, which is a collection of algorithms. These approaches are critical for human-centered AI systems because they can automatically evaluate a person's psychological condition based on their speech, voice, color, facial expression, and posture. For the first time, physiological data such as heart rate are added to sentiment analysis in a new study published in IEEE Transactions on Effective Computing. Such signals are a potential goldmine of emotions, with the potential to greatly increase sentiment estimation ability. The researchers employed the Hazumi 1911 dataset, which included speech recognition, voice color sensors, facial expressions, and posture detection, as well as skin potential, which is a type of physiological response sensing. By perceiving a shift in everyday emotional states, emotionally intelligent AI systems might assist diagnose and tracking mental diseases. They might also be useful in education, as AI could detect if a student is engaged or bored during a class. Next, brush your hair without crying. All you need is a basic understanding of mathematics. Knots are a nightmare for anybody who has ever had to brush lengthy hair. However, with some practice, most people can untangle their hair with the least amount of pain. Start at the bottom and work your way up to the scalp with short, soft brushes, using detangler as needed. Years ago, while brushing his small daughter's hair, El Mahadevon learned the mechanics of combing. Detangling's topology, geometry, and mechanics raised fascinating mathematical concerns pertinent to a variety of applications, including textile production and chemical processes like polymer processing. He and co-authors investigate why brushing is the most successful way of detangling a bundle of fibers in new research published in the journal Soft Matter. The researchers looked at how a single stiff tine passes around the double helix, leaving two untangled filaments in its wake to detangle it. They discovered the ideal minimum length for each stroke. Any shorter and combing out all the knots would take an eternity. Brushing concepts were recently applied to create algorithms for a robot brushing hair. Next, we have the AI that forecasts whether or not someone will go into cardiac arrest. A new artificial intelligence-based technique can forecast if and when a patient will die of cardiac arrest far more precisely than a doctor. The system, which is based on raw pictures of sick hearts and patient histories, has the potential to change clinical decision-making and improve survival from abrupt and deadly cardiac arrhythmias, one of medicine's deadliest and most perplexing disorders. Over 10 years, an algorithm forecasts the likelihood of sudden cardiac death with great accuracy as well as when it is most likely to occur. The term refers to the scarring of the heart produced by heart disease, which frequently results in deadly arrhythmias. 
The John Hopkins researchers trained an algorithm to recognize patterns and correlations not evident to the human eye using contrast-enhanced cardiac pictures. In tests with an independent patient cohort from 60 health facilities across the United States, the algorithm's predictions were verified using varied cardiac histories and imaging data. The team is now developing algorithms to detect additional heart disorders. With this being said, today's episode of our weekly updates on the newest futuristic technologies and robots comes to an end. Next time, we'll bring you even more exciting robot news. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with us. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.